I want someone to keep the music going, but tonight's going to be a bit different. Uh, I'm going to go ba jump back into art streams, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, I'm going to make something simple and fun in Blender. Some of it will be tutorial level stuff. I'll explain what I, I will explain what I'm doing the entire time. Some will be uh, random tests here and there. Because I'm always experimenting as I'm making new things. So I can't say whether or not everything I do would be the best or most optimal way to follow it. So pick and choose what what uh, techniques I use that you want to use yourself. Oh, I didn't say uh, the reason I uh, decided to do an art stream tonight, besides the fact that I just enjoy them, is because well, GDQ is going right now. There's no way I'm getting new viewers from uh, playing a video game <laughs> when all the people with actual skill are playing other games. Excited? Um, oh, I. I will re-say this later uh, if it occurs, but um, although I only stream, I only play uh, stuff on Amazon Music that is copyright free from like stream beats and whatnot. If they're recommendations for music, I will look it up and play some of it. Split, uh, nothing explicit though, because well, I'm not exactly a child-friendly channel. I try to at least stick to PG-13. All right, let's uh, hop back in and start on a. Um, fresh design. Good, everything's working correctly. Anything else? Oh, I'm making sure that everything's up and running. Gotta do that every time because things like to crash randomly. Alright, let's hide this, delete this, because we don't need any of those. Uh, before, I haven't. I've got an idea, uh, idea what I'm going to make. I generally at least come with ideas for streaming it. I will say this because for some reason it's part of the meme at this point to uh, delete Starter Cube. Bye Starter Cube. Anyways, uh, have I got everything set up correctly? Did I want Eevee? I don't remember what workbench is. Alright, I knew oh, right, uh, what I was going to make. So... It's hard to say what I'm making from words because, yes, uh, from words, good, good choice of phrasing there. So I'm gonna be animating something, but let's start with the thing that's gonna be animating rather than it's uh, what it's gonna be uh, animated into. I'm gonna try and make a little, basically a plane flying through clouds type animation, a looping animation. It'll make more sense once it's done. I don't like. That's why I'm. Never actually tried to explain what I make in words, but like from concept, it's I stick to low poly. Just saying, so be prepared for the, for a thing for me to lower the face count. I clicked the wrong 
I'm always mistaking X and Y, even though I've got the lines here. So let's make a... let's get started on plan. I do pull preferences I'm working. I don't have one for... I should pull one for plan, for this. Although I know, like, I got the idea image in my head. It's better to always have references, references, references. Everyone says that. Uh, what's it called again? That will be it. I just need the general shape. There we go. I've got, I'm just pulling up my phone, make sure I got to look at it, make sure I remember what it looked like. So, I don't remember what these types of planes are called, but someone will know, probably. I call it, oh, that, I call them, I call it a propeller plane when looking it up. So let's stick to the, uh, making it simple, since it's not going to be the focal point of the animation, no matter what we do. That is the wrong button. So what I'm doing is I'm making a simple body shape right now for the plane. Uh, from I'll add the wing and stuff afterwards. It'll be a little bit more obvious of what what it looks like when I'm done. Adding a loop cut there rather than the. Uh, Divide, subdivide, rather well, than like, string it again, I want to make it like this. Let's see, what's the best way to cut this? It's be uh, it's probably to uh, add. Oh, right, I've, got, I've got Alt Z enabled for X ray. Something that you can do to change for um, what you're looking at is things like this. Change it to the ma material color. It's, uh, sometimes there's different ones. If you sometimes they're easier for to model because it makes a clear a difference in the shape. This is the moment I'm working on it has got a pretty simple design. I just need an off color to make it stand out. Is I'm going to use a method that for the next step that I always like when I tried to learn it. Like I was I had made a ton of mis I try that anyway. Do excuse that, I will ma regularly make a mistake of which axis I want things to rotate on. But here's a method to cut things out that I've always like had trouble getting to work right at times. Scale this on the x-axis to make sure it fun cuts out. Let's see... Um, a bit too far forward on the plane. Let me double check my reference real quick. I'm just going for a simple design. It's gonna be. Dude, we're gonna look at this from a third-person perspective the entire time. So in the end, it doesn't have to be that complex. Regardless, let's try to make it look good either way. Uh, about there. And turn Alt Z off and add modifier. Where is the? Um, what is? I'm drawing a blank on the word at the moment. I know what I'm doing. It's not Boolean. No, it is. It is Boolean. I, I can never remember what that's called. And i am got the wrong object selected. You want to select this. Oh, make sure to apply all the transforms first, otherwise the cut won't work right. Then you go in here, select Boolean, select object, and then you use that to cut it. You hide that, see it cuts out uh, the shape we want. I... Again, I'm selecting the wrong objects. Grab Z. About there. Uh, bring it forward a little. I think my... It'll move until you apply it. At uh, this point, apply the cut. That way we can get rid of this. I didn't mean to select that. Sometimes. Since a lot of the shortcut keys involve, uh, or hotkeys involve combining different buttons at the same time to do something, I regularly hold it down and for some reason doesn't register one but does the other. 
It's probably entirely my fault, but you know. Anyways, we don't need this anymore. Now is no drop frames, good. Very civil right now, doesn't look anything like a plane, does it? We'll fix that quickly. First things first, let's have... Let's continue the body before we worry about anything else. So let's go into face select and remove uh, unwanted faces here. Do we want? No, we do not. I was wondering if I wanted any more faces. Go to edge select and try to bring it in a bit. Due to the odd shape here, it's gonna be odd to cut, but yeah. Didn't even select that one. Extrude and scale on the x-axis to go inward a bit. And scale it further inward. Oh, I missed one. Now extrude and scale on the x-axis uh, about here. Yeah, about there. And then extrude it downward a bit. Not a ton, because it's not, like I said, it's not going to be very visible in the end. We do still want it to look good, when, uh, regardless of how, how many people are going to, how, how close people are going to be able to see what you're make, this step you're going to make. Make sure you don't um, pull it, make sure too far, far, far down so it doesn't go outside the plane. And then extrude this forward. Hit this edge and, not that edge, extrude downward. Uh, I'm holding on to shit. Why are you deselecting? There we go. And let's merge it. Alright, it does that. It's not the end. Hold on. What I want is this. You don't have to do this because, like I said, it's not invisible, but it's, it's easier to get the object to hold together if you merge some of the verses to make sure it looks nice in the end. And that probably, I don't know if that sound was recorded. That is the sound I have turned on, so it reminds me when I accidentally hit the uh, caps lock button. Because it's right above the shift button, which is used a lot as a short key. I probably don't need to actually do that. I can just probably leave that be and it won't be visible. Yeah. So. Obviously nothing there at the moment. We're going to add a seat, uh, handle, and glassed right here later. I could add the seat now, but I'll wait on that. I'm gonna build the rest of the plant before I add those little minor details. That caused some lag there, I don't know why. You can build them as one object by keeping in edit mode and uh, adding, but I find it easier to uh, keep it separate, especially when you want to multiply objects. Because I'm gonna use the build the wings now. And I screwed them, but not screwed. Wrong button. Scale them on the x-axis again to about here. That looks about right. A bit too low. About here. Uh, and let's extrude it down to add some depth. That did not register. Why? All right, I'm not in edit mode. I keep forgetting that. You only want a little bit for that sake. Oh, uh, add a loop cut down the middle. And you can do, uh, merge it last. There's a probably a good way to add an instant curve to the wings here. Actually, if you keep the front undone, it'll add a little bit more notable curve for wings. So, top, uh, top and bottom vertex and merge it last. And then you have some simple wing design here. And select all by hitting A, Shift D, and then hold the head Z to move it down to the base of the body there. One second. Constantly double check your references when making things like this. Especially on steps like, say, when you're making the wings where. Uh, it show uh, 
the, the reference shows the wings, bottom wings being a little further up in the body. And also them being, no, they're about the same height. So when you're working, especially later, you'll want to name things. I don't have to right now because there's going to be one object in the end, but I'm going to anyways for the sake of sewing it's a good habit. You can also uh, move them into a group when you're working, like a new collection, by hitting M. Uh, that'll make it easier, especially when you uh, have a lot more things made to keep track of what you're working on when, so you can hide everything else. Because you can hide things by group, which is very useful, especially when you have a lot going on at once. I know what I want to do with this, I'm like, what should I start working on next? Let's add, let's continue adding the wing parts first, so... Let's add another, um, plane. Except this time, I'm gonna... Do the shortcut to the camera view and bring this one to the back of the plane. And then... Turn camera angle, grab, bring up. I believe it's, it's the same as the other planes. Yeah, it's simple. Like, I'm going based on like the simple designs you find in cartoons. I don't know how close they are to reality. Hit tab before you do the next step. Grab um, wall in tab mode. See that dot there? That's its point of origin. Which is important to keep the same because we're going to use a mirror modifier. So that uh, the tail fins on both sides of the plane are identical. Now there's multiple ways to shape this since a plane. I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to move the, this vertex in so it's part of that. I'm going to actually cut it. Hit the K for the cut tool. And go here. I'm going to double check the shape of these things. I might have added, want to add a bit more of a curve than that. Which is, what you can do for that after you've applied a cut is you can move, hit, grab a uh, vertex and hit GG to slide on the on the uh, pre-cut axis at that point. So it'll adjust it. You can just move around as you wish, but that'll keep it so it's sliding on the lines or the edges. And let's go back here. Uh, about that. That should be good. Then go click move in face like mode, cut out the faces, and you have a single shape for, uh, for them, but that's not quite it yet. Uh, I think it's a bit too big actually. So let's scale it down a bit, uh, bring it back in, and um, let's enable. Hit O to enable, uh, what's it called again? It's not highlighting it to show me, but this is... Proportion lighting, there we go. What that does is if you select something like this and you grab it, it'll move the entire thing with it. See how it adds a bend here? So that makes it more smooth, so I can add a bit of a curve to these separate from, uh, without having to worry about every little vertex while I'm doing that and have it based on the ones I'm grabbing. And select all again. Let's do what we did with the wings before. Extrude uh, on the z-axis. And then starting at this one, I guess. Merge with last. Merge at last. You can just do this if you can't see it. Hit, hit shift z to enable x-ray mode. Which is different from the from this, which is Alt Z. Oh, wait, this is a uh, wireframe mode. This is X-ray mode. Uh, let's try doing this. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Turn off uh, wireframe mode. Gonna. That's an effect on the normals right there, which is affecting the shadows, which I can just reset later. Again, it shouldn't be a big a deal in the final part when I'm editing or I'm animating and moving, because this will be shrunk down flying through an entire scene, which I'm going to show a shortcut for, even though it's 3D modeling, what's called a parallax background. Which is what's used in 2D animating, like say when they have the exact same background on repeat cartoons. It's, you know, like old movies and TV shows, they show, they had like a, they would 
joke about that by showing a um, scroll, basically a treadmill, but with the picture on it. I'm gonna use a similar method to that, but instead of with um, uh, with a scrolling background, which is gonna be flying, I'm gonna use a donut. Yes, it's called a torus. Uh, this object called torus, but I called it a donut because that is basically what it is, or a bagel, but donuts more fun to say. Let's give it some accent, but what accent? Anyways, anything else I want to add to these wings? Not wings, tail fins. Uh, move them back a little. How's that looking? Good, and... Shift uh, D, uh, Z up. And what I'm gonna do is hit P after that. Make by selection to make this a separate item. R leave edit mode by hitting tab, and it'll take you into the last mode you're in, in that case, object mode. Go back into this one, and remove the mirror modifier, so just one. Hit uh, A to select all, and rotate on the y-axis for 90. I got it right! I always make that thing that. And then... One thing we can do, rather than having to figure out like what this is, uh, middle-wise, is you can... I forget which tab it is. This one. Location. On the x-axis is on zero. On the y-axis, let's also put on zero. Wait, why is it... Oh, wait, it was... It took its recommendation from the... First set its origin to geometry. Uh, and you can set then set its x, loca x location, in this case, to zero. I was getting a mistake. And that'll put it perfectly in the middle. Since we're building the plane on the y and x lines, it's perfectly centered. So bring it back down. I'm going to scale it down a bit on the z-axis before I do this. Make it a bit slightly different shape. And you have some... Let's, let's scale down a bit more. It's still a little too big in comparison. Uh, got some tail fins attached there. I'm gonna make these one object since they are going to be the same color. So, Control J. At this point, when you're making them all, you could go into this tab and be adding your materials to each one for a different one to separate them. Like, say... Especially since in the case of the body, where it's gonna be multiple materials on it, but some more later, but uh, sometimes you don't have to. Oh, I forgot one step before I joined them. Make sure you do this before you join with another object. On object mode, go and apply the mirror first. Otherwise, it will delete it. Then do that. That's my bad. Control S every now and then to make sure it saves it. I just picked streaming through the clouds for this because it's going to be flying through the sky and I'm streaming it. Come me for our... I have a lot of random knowledge of skills for art and stuff. Some I know how to do it myself, some I just picked up from watching other people and can regurgitate easily. One thing never asked me for advice for, I can say flat out, naming. It is not my forte in the slightest. I can't come up with names for anything well. So, yeah, that's... Yeah. Let's move this into the plain group. Although, again... It wasn't just the regular collection. I don't know why it's down in a different collection from scene collection. I accidentally moved them, didn't I? Annoying. Anyways, so with that... We still have the propeller and the attached wings and the wheels before this is done being built, and we can move on to the animating. Before I do that, I'll cut this up into two different, two different material, uh, three different material sections. For that, I'm just going to show this all. First, select all, and then uh, new material, and body. Yes, I know that's the wrong plane. I started typing it and realized I was doing it wrong. For that, let's go here. Select all the verses up front. 
This is gonna be uh, the propeller's attachment point, so you'll need a different material from the rest of the body. More metal material, because you don't normally paint this part on planes. Propeller base. Assign. Oh, I forgot to do one thing when I was doing this. Oh, wrong. One thing to do here is to, um, let's inset it by with I. Just a little bit. Extrude it back. Inset again. With I yet again. Extrude it forward. And then scale in. Oh, let's turn off proportional lighting first. Then scale it in. And that's better point for the propeller base. So let's make sure it uh, kept them all for the material. It did. Let's hide the wings for a second while I add in the... That's why, part of the reason why I'm doing it now. Because it'll be easier to select the faces on here, on the inside, if... Um, it's not when the plane is uh, presently got the wings and everything attached to it. Um, let's add one more material. called interior because the actual word uh, makes everyone laugh like they're in middle school. Oop. Let's get back to building out the wings. There's that cross section to attach the two the wings to the body, which, you know, would be kind of weird if I just had the, this floating here, although you could go that for a stylized look if you wanted. There's a few different ways uh, different ways people attach those. Generally it's with uh, poles in the decoration. So let's go with that. Shift and add a another cylinder. But let's move that's half this one compared to the past ones. And um, shoot uh drastically decrease its uh, radius. You can do all this with uh, the decrease the radius of the scaling, but it's easy to do it once you first spawned it. And before we move on, let's hit tab mode. And wait, I was already in edit mode. Because what we want here is yet again. Oh, I was making this in the plane. That's uh, annoying. So before doing that, exit editing the plane. Then make it so it doesn't count it and as in part of the plane already. You can if you want to build it in, like I said. But that means when you're going back and. Um, editing it, the, say if we want to, you can select both at the same time and it'll see, see it shows the different um, faces at the same time. If you try to click on one, especially when you get really deep into editing vertices, it'll really get in the way, so uh, I avoid um, editing them until, uh, connecting them until uh, later. If you select two objects at once or multiple and hit the uh, switch to edit, you can edit them all once, so that's not an issue. Anyways, like, like I said, uh, you want to make sure this is in edit mode itself before we do this because we want it in another mirror. Oh, make sure you've got them all the faces selected, otherwise you'll drag and stretch it out. Let's see, I need to bring a bit more forward to about here, and bring it in close to the body. Scale it up a bit. A bit too much. Uh, scale it slightly up more. Hold down shift when scaling or moving something, and it'll decrease the increments by a bit. Now you can uh, decrease, you can uh, leave it so the pole is visible to top and bottom. Is you know, they build things like that. I don't know about planes. Like in actuality. Normally you'd see bolts and stuff for the like connections, so it wouldn't be unrealistic. I'm just trying to make everything kind of seamless for the most part. One thing you can do if you want to do it like that is you can also do this. Hit a, turn on the Y axis, and since due to its location being so close, it will make it so that it'll mirror it bo both, uh, both ways. Why did I hit extrude? There? I had extrude when I should have been I was planning to duplicate. It worked out fine because I had all them selected anyways. 
Anyways, that's... Got that done. Now I'm gonna hit uh, shift duplicate for the next step. So, shift duplicate, hit X. Try to get it centered before you do this. And then rotate on the Y. I got it right. Scale it up. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, scale it up before we do that. Scale on the Z axis, then rotate it on the Y to try to get an angle to cross the two. I'm gonna do it for this. I'm gonna separate it so that it doesn't combine with the other ones. So we can cut these off at the uh, without having to worry about its intersection later. So all grab. Uh, let's bring it up a bit. So yeah, so it's about that there. Shift D, rotate Y, and then hit 180. But uh, rotate Y 90, not 180. 180s would be well, it just kind of makes it match up. 180s for different shapes. You got some crossbars there. But first, let's uh, hit Control R. No. I'm only gonna work too well. No, will. Hit Control R for loop cut and then bring it up here. That's not the final cut we want, but it'll make removing uh, the rest of it much easier. What it basically does is that uh, for any object when you hit Control R, it uh, makes it so you have a cut around the object itself. So if you don't have any odd shapes, it'll be a perfect loop. That's what I did here when I only cut the wings in half up there. It's very useful, especially if you're trying to make 2D images into 3D. Which I haven't shown off yet. Anyways, with that, let's try adding one more control, uh, one more loop cut here. And then rotating it on the Y axis. Let's uh, wait on that. First, hit the control R, bring it here, and select the end of it, cut off the faces. Make sure you select all of them. I said make sure you select all of them, otherwise it doesn't work. Remove the faces. And you can see here we've got the and we're gonna cut. So reselect the edge. Uh, turn to X-ray mode. It'll be easier for this. And rotate on the Y-axis. And then bring it down. And so it's hidden in there. Uh, probably better to move it a bit. Let's move it a bit here. Do this, it'll. It looks a bit weird right now. I need to fix that a bit more. This is the one thing that's all funky. Getting everything to look right. right. Shift Y on that so it doesn't move on the Y axis. If I just done this instead of cutting the faces. Like that. How'd I do it like that? Whatever. If this was a larger or more complex model, I'd fix this. But since it's not, why bother? Or because it is going to be visible. Yay. Hit Alt and then select the loop, and then it'll select all of the loop normally. Now hit uh, Alt C, and then there you go, it's visible. There's a bit of a gap there, but it's fine. Let's go back. I did not adjust the poles on this very well, did I? But now they're in the wrong spot. Bravo me, bravo, I didn't adjust their position at all. And I didn't get the rotation quite right, because it's different from the other one. There we go. 
I did not mean to exit edit mode. Go back to this and cut the faces out again. Going to um, edge mode for, two, for it's two on your, not the numpad, but the other numbers. Rotate on the, uh, not X, Y axis. Oh wait, add a loop cut first. If you don't, it's going to change in shape the rest of it. You gotta make sure you zoom out enough to actually see what the loop cut's gonna be. Then do it and rotate on the, like I said, on the Y. Turn off uh, this and then bring it up a bit. There you go, it's less visible. I gotta clean this up, but it's because of the lowered height on the wing there, it's more visible than in fact I'm doing that. And we scale it down, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. But enough for me to hide it inside that pillar, which will look better. Now we gotta do the bottom half. Back into face select and uh, x ray. Move faces again. And loop cut here. And it is stuck. There we go. Two. And then hold Alt to uh, select them all. Oh, you hold Alt Shift and you can select both. Hold Hit Shift Y so it does not move on the Y axis. I want to move that a bit closer. Then select this yet again. And then grab Shift Y so it moves in here. Rotate on the Y axis so it's kind of hidden. And then bring it up. Let's scale it down and hide it inside the pillar like we did the other one. Grab this edge, then hit G, uh, not GG. That doesn't work too well with um, loop cuts. Because it does that. Grab, shift Y, move it just a bit closer. Oh, better move those. Move the vertices from that. Is that's present? Let's turn off. Uh, I'm gonna get the last pillars in a second. So it's presently looking. After we get this done, it'll be the wings and the propeller left. Make sure you have extra on, otherwise it'll miss some vertices. Oh, I gotta add another loop cut here first. You could also do is. Get it to the end and then extrude it. Make sure it's on, again on shift Y, scaled inward so it's gonna be hidden in there. And there we go. We got those pillars there. How's it looking? button. Uh, what we do, let's uh, apply the mirror on this so we can go into this and select specifically just these faces and hide them. It'll be slightly uh, visible through it if I don't fix that. So let's grab it again. Let's grab both of them this time. Might have been smarter, but grab the grabs the D button. Just pull down Shift so it moves only slightly. Yep. And exit obvi mode. I mean, exit edit mode. Go into these Control J. Make them uh, Control A. All transforms. To make certain. Let's um, 
Check that. Yeah, I don't. I haven't. I don't know if I did all of them yet. This. Good to apply. Make sure everything's applied before you combine them because it can mess with things later. Oh, so I'm gonna sip my drink. It's gonna be the more difficult than the wheel the wheels. Let's go with the propeller next. There's the options of a two or three propeller to, um, bladed propeller for this type of plane. And again, I'm gonna use a plane. This time I'm going to uh, rotate it first. Wrong way again. And I'm going to apply that back, and then I don't want to go into Edmodia. I want to bring it up to this location first. You'll see why I'm doing that in a second. Try to make it centered on that. And bring it back a bit. Now we go into edit mode and grab bring on X. Hmm. I think I'll go with the two one. Those are simpler to make this. Double checking my reference art for this real quick. Um scale it down on the Z. Let's add, uh, rather than cutting it normal, let's add some loop cuts for this one. Scroll up on the scroll wheel to add more cuts. I actually moved it before you saw that, but if you hit the right click instead of left click, when you've actually moved it, it'll just keep the original position. And let's go here. Scale together on the Z. And then bring them uh, over on the X to add more of a curve. Remove these, let's turn on proportional editing, scale on the Z. Turn off proportional editing, deselect these two. Scale Z. Let's see, all of uh, we it's supposed to have like a little cap or something on, on it, so let's get the position quite uh, as right as I can. Right there. This will be a separate object from the rest of the plane that's parented, so that it can uh, animating a little easier, since nothing else on this plane will move uh, while it's moving. It's just the propeller. First of all, let's uh, no, let's add in the mirror modifier again. I don't know how I always miss on the list, even though it's right there. Y is back that way, so if you want it to go up you on the Z axis, but since I haven't applied the changes yet, it won't work. You can also go bisect, but that I never have I never actually use that personally. It's better to stick to the normal X mirror mode. Although when you're working on things up here it is automatic mirroring, but it's symmetry on the mesh itself. So I don't know how to use that be for uh, making a propeller work. Anyways, exit this, apply. And let's just do it the simple way for this. Shift D, bring it out. Uh, pair by selection. Move to just general scene collection. So it's here with this. I forgot to move this in the scene collection. Moving into the scene collection. Although I wanted to be not scene, uh, just a plain collection, but since that is, it's going to be one object when it's done, why move it to its own collection? Right back to why I did this. I want to go into edit mode on it, select all, extrude, the scale. And 
bring it back. Let's scale it down slightly so it's notably disconnected. And this will be attached to the wings and it'll rotate with the uh, impellers and it'll rotate with them. All transforms, all transforms. Control J. Let's set the origin to the geometry so that later when I do uh, try to animate it, it doesn't mess with me. Uh, at this point, it, it will uh, it'll look like something like this. Wrong, wrong axis. But much faster. Let's get the wings. Before we get the chair, um, the um, control stick. I actually know what it's called on this thing. Uh, into that, and then it'll be, the plane will be done, we'll be able to move on. Some will have like little glass right here, but most of them are depicted without it. Like in a lot of the uh, stuff you look up, but most of them are like from cartoons and whatnot. Also, to be fair, they were wearing goggles and stuff most of the time. Hmm. Either way, let's get back to finishing up the, our little plane. Which I still don't know what these kinds of planes are called. How did that happen? I'm pretty sure I'm spelling that wrong. I think it requires an O, not me. I legit don't care though. Let's move them. Let's keep bugging me if they're like this. There we go. Now it's zoned. Now let's get to the. Uh, but it's probably going to be easier uh, for the this making the wheels. Since we're flying constantly, technically don't need to add them, but I'm adding them anyways. So what I'm going to do for this is something that's also pretty easy, especially when you're trying to make wheels or something. Donut. Uh, let's cut it in half. And I mean the amount, not the shape. Scale it down because it does not need to be that large to be on for this plane. Let's first of all let's get the front ones. About here. No, about here. And the mirror modifier again. Why is that not working? All right, hold on. Control A, all transforms, then bring it up. And edit it mode. Because I didn't add the transform before, it didn't register the fact that I'd rotate it. That is one of the transforms. And if you don't apply those first, mirror modifiers and a lot of the modifiers won't work right. Uh, that's one of those things that took me forever to learn, even though it's so simple. So I was always frustrated working on things. Because when people explain the step-by-step -step process when you have a question, most of the time, like, here's how you do it. I'm not saying, oh yeah, if you don't apply the the, mirror, uh, the uh, transforms, it messes with it. They're just like, you've met, apply transform, move on. You gotta explain that it's the transform that's the cause of a lot of issues. Bring it forward a little. Uh, Shifty. Shift, uh, shift, 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 add another torus. Scale down. A little more. Rotate on the X. Nope. Rotate on the Y. And grab, bring it back quite a bit here. And bring it slightly higher than the front ones. They commonly, for the design, show it like just kind of. So that it'll have a tilt to the plane. Now we've got our loose flung wheels. Let's add stuff to make them fall on wheels. Uh, that's the 
best way to go about that. One way can be to, to do this, go to the plant faces, and select a cross, and just on merge its center. That looks a little odd, but it works. And then do it again. Make sure you select the same ones. Center. Yeah, it works. Let's do this, make it simpler. Let's add a bit of a cut here. I do that. Um, bring it in a bit. It might look a little better. No. It looks weird like that. But it does look better with the cut there, so I'm gonna do that. Do that for all of it. I'm gonna make a slight adjustment. It won't be visible to a lot of people, but this is for my own satisfaction, which is fine when you're making things. If you like how things look better, even if no one will ever see it, do it. As long as you're having fun and you're um, working on things in a good uh, and a healthy way, go for it. Make whatever you want. the camera moves weirdly. Let's repeat that for this. I did not want... Oh, if, we do, if you go to selected object, it resets the location of the camera that you're trying to move around. So it, it makes it a little less fidgety. Move center. Or not move, merge center. Could also cut the faces out and make it so it's not a spike, but more of a um, like a pillar. Um, nope. Here we go. Merge center. If you do that, it messes with it. I always flip so that uh, faces, not vertices. Doesn't show any difference, but that's gonna make it so it's connected. So it, I had forgot to do it in the other ones, but again, it doesn't make really a difference. It can influence if you're trying to um, export anything as a paper island or to 3D print them. You gotta make sure you clean up all the varices then, or if you're trying to export them into a game or something. But since I'm just making an animation. Some of the cleanup isn't as necessary as I isn't so necessary, even though I do it a lot. Which involves um, clean, uh, merging together on one versus triangulating them is one thing you can do. Which will change the shape of them from the more square shapes to more triangular shapes. Which is necessary for some um, programs. I think it, you need that for Unity. I don't know, I don't work in that really much. Not really a coder, I've not tried to learn. Got the general shape of wheels done. Let's uh oh wait, that's fall as long as I got these selected. Something I forgot to do on the other ones, I should do I have to go back and do now. Select the center ones. This step is technically optional, it depends on how you want to color your plane. So, go in, add two new materials. I'll just call it metal because it's going to be a reused material. And sign. Hit deselect, it's like this to make sure you can tell. Yep. Go with rubber, so this is what the tires are made of. You don't have to name the materials or anything. Speaking of, I forgot to um, name the propellers. 
I give the pillars materials. It's got the same ones as the rest. Ooh, that's annoying. So, because I made it from the... Uh, that piece, like, by shooting, uh, co cutting that, uh, copy that, it took materials from the plane itself. Let's see, let's make it middle of the center of the two, these two. Hmm. I think it's the same material the wings are made of. Or the tail fins. Probably the same thing as the wings. I haven't given the wings the material yet, have I? I have not. The next step is to add the attachment to the wheels. That felt weird. Hold on a second, let me stretch. It takes a different amount of focus to make one of these while streaming versus playing a random game. I mean, none of the games I play are random, I, didn't, I want to play them, and I have them planned to play for stream. Let's get our plane finished up. They will not be rotating, so you can make them one object. Oh, again, I gotta remember this step. Apply the mirror before combining them. Let's, uh, let's rename them wheels just to make sure we don't lose track of them from moving the group. And let's add in another um, not Taurus cylinder. Go into edit mode. Grabbing over here. Add another mirror modifier in this case. Let's rotate it on, on the X, the Y, not that much. And bring it up here. But I, I hit the wrong button, that's fine. Grab, shift, Y. Oh, I didn't. Now grab, shift, Y. It was, gra not gra it was only grabbing some of them. I mean, seriously. Ah! Sorry, my cat doesn't take no for an answer. She's figured out how to get up on the back of my chair. I'm... And when I say she can hop up from the ground. I, let, I got a wire extender for my headphones so you'd stop eating them. Also, it's too hot to be bugging me. Oh. And let's bring them back a bit. Wrong. Again, wrong axis. Very simple way to attach them, but that's really all you need. Shift D, bring it back on the Y axis. By selection, let's go and add the material, metal them. For this one, apply the mirror modifier. For this one, first of all, let's turn off wire mode and delete the mirror modifier. Okay, Z one eighty. That that is yeah, that's not gonna work. Rotate Z ninety. Yeah, that'll work. Grab X, bring it here. Grab Z. 
bit too far in uh, the, that direction. There we go. Bring it back a bit more. Let's try to get it to the center before we move it over. Again, wrong axis. Okay, I just want it to be visible the fact that it's doing this, nothing more. I have to move this wheel up a bit more, don't I? I do. Okay, let's... Should we have this one be like that? Yeah, it looks better that way. Fly transforms, fly transforms. J. Move to the plane collection and then we can buy with the wheels. Is... Oh, wait, do not do that. Do not select it up there because it'll select it based on all the things between it. Control J. Go to tab for edit mode. Grab everything and let's bring it up a little. That looks better. At this point, all that's left is to add in the details of uh, the chair and the controller stick. The stick is gonna be the easiest. Let's make that next. Up, scale down the Z, bring it back a bit. And further down. How about here? Uh, let's go into edit mode. Let's hide the, pl that's the, pl the plane body while we're doing this. A little bit easier. Uh, go up here. I was on the edge select and not the um, face uh, the face select I thought it was. Extrude, scale out of it. Let's uh, scale it, but shift Z so it doesn't. I forgot, you gotta re extrude that. Scale, shift Z. You get a bit of texture by putting more loop cuts than scaling in and out to. Uh, I'll actually show what I mean rather than just saying it. Yeah, why not do it at this point if I'm already doing it? I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Okay. And hit Alt. No, first go to three. Get hit. No. Sometimes the Alt select thing will select the. Extrude, scale, shift Z. See, it adds a bit of uh, texture there. And before anything else, let's. This will be directly behind. Go to edge section here. That is tax lock again. Extrude outward and shift. X. And let's go face select. Um, extrude out a bit. Let's go with pretty select and um, merge it last, like we do with the wings. Do that a bit more of texture there, or not texture, shape. Grab these two, GG to uh, go move on at the scale on the edges. Let's 
select all the faces on this piece. Actually, don't need to do that. All we need to do is select all the pieces on, uh, faces on this piece. The alt select thing when it wants to cooperate is great. Actually, you no, know, don't select that one. Leave that one the same material for. You can make it some. I'm gonna make it a material called. Um, I have a material called cushion. Because I make the same material for the chair as I have for this. Sign, deselect. Does this all work? Good. Oh, some of the edges there will be metal. It should have some stylized. We got you in. I think it's so good with the little floor and rotate it a bit. Um, I think we have a bit more position. And I think it's normally a bit off to the side. And here we have the controller. Uh, no, not that control. Wait, yeah, sorry. Problem is, I was on the edit mode. You need to move out of edit mode to move things into different groups. All's left now is the chair. Let's go with the simpler thing. I added the wrong thing. I want a cube scaled down a bit. That's why I want a cube for a question to see in just a second. Let's hide the wings for this. What you want to do is hit Control One or Control Two. What you're basically doing is sub subdividing the cube. Why do you want to do that? Go into the edit mode. Add in loop cuts. And you've got a, a cube that looks like a, it can be. It looks like a sphere, but it's very, very easy to move or manage. Let's see. Let's. Let's get it to the position I want it to be in, and then scale X, and then I'll just into the shape of the cushion after I got its height and its size good. There we go. Now let's add the plane body and move, uh, edit it into shape. So far, let's see how it looks in the plane. Maybe a bit too big. Turn it down a bit and scale it in a bit so that it's a little bit smaller. And then let's move on to face select. What we just want to do here is just extrude and rotate it a bit, not that direction. See how it looks. Pretty good. Good enough since I'm not, again, I'm not adding a person in there or gonna have any fo camera folks on that much at all when it's flying. And so let's let's make sure all the materials are ready before I move into the next steps. Any materials in that? Good. Control good. Plane propeller. I thought I added materials for this. No, I did, so I guess 
So now they got removed. Plus, add metal and a sign. Nine wings. Right. Yeah, fins, good. Wheels, good. Why is there an extra E in there? Plain pillars. Let's see how they look. We, get, we did not add a metal to them yet. Before we get into all the texture and color, we can make it one object now. Except for the pillar. Keep the pillar separate. We need that to be able to move. That is saved. Been a little while since I've done that. We don't want to lose uh, this because it turned out really well, shape wise. Control J. Oh, right. So, I'm, yet again, I'm doing that thing I forget. So, make sure to select the cushion. Apply the subdivision modifier. Make sure everything is applied before you combine them. Otherwise, you have to exit back out and undo everything again. Well, I'm not combining with the repeller, so I don't know I did that. Also, the last object you click on will be the um, main focus of when you complete it. So it'll be the plane body in this case. Everything seems to have kept its shape. Let's go control all transforms. It should have kept all those materials. It did. Alright, let's uh, jump into shading now. So you can either um, pull down a... Where is this? Go here, you click uh, vertical or horizontal split. And you can make this different window right here. Click on this, you can pick the different things like texture node editor, UV editor, image editor. UV editor is kind of what I want to do, uh, is not, is for if you've got an applied image already. In this case, what we want is a, uh, not texture node editor, it's shading. But I think it's easier to see if I go into this, uh, versus doing that. Hold on a second. Uh, join areas. We go into the, so leave the shading tab up here, which has a dedicated tab for it. Also, uh, one thing that's annoying here is if you, uh, you click on this and you select a different one to switch them, it'll change the material saved onto here to the object, rather than switching to the ones to edit. You have to go back into the object itself and select the material you want to work on. Let's go with the plane base. I'm going to go with, um, well, first, let's go with the red color for the plane. That's uh, shader to RGB. I like RGB. Is where's uh, the? Let's make it a bit metallic. So this is the plane. Move a bit of specular and roughness, so it's a bit more reflective. But let's also uh, make this a little bit of a darker shade of red. And decrease the metallic a little. That's a little... Given it's supposed to be painted, it's a little too reflective. Yeah, that works. We can uh, add a bit of subsurface on it, which will take the second color. Let's make it a really dark shade of red for that. Let's go with the tail fin material next. Uh, the shader to RGB first this time. And um, for the tail fins, let's go for let's just yeah, let's stick with an off shade of white. And let's make this considerably less reflective. A bit more roughness though. Yeah, let's go with that, why not? Uh, plain interior we haven't done yet, what is the color base? 
Oh, that base is just gonna be metal again. I don't know why I made that a different one. I'll go over that later. So let's go plain interior. It's going to basically be a copy of the plain body of a um with. So let's uh, shift C on this. Go to plain interior. Cut these. Control V. What I want is to make a bit more subsurface on this and everything much darker. Not with the that and let's remove the specular on the rough and increase the roughness to max. Let's add a I'm adding the wrong thing. Let's add a bit of a texture onto this. It won't be really visible much, but why am I? Where's the noise? There's the noise texture. Uh, yeah, that's. So it's not going to be that noticeable, but it'll make it so it looks a little more damaged in the inside interior. Let's see. Oh, okay, should we add something more to this? Yeah, let's make this. Let's add a little bit of subsurface to it. With a darker shade of white. Won't be that noticeable, but it'll add something. Uh, what's next? There's metal, rubber, and cushions. Let's go with the metal. Metal's a bit easier. But first of all, the stun game, putting anything else RGB, we want to make sure it all fits RGB, otherwise it'll be noticeable. Go a bit of a shade of gray. Add metallic to it, a lot of it. Like, probably want to max that out so it's straight up metal. Increase specular. Increase roughness a little so it's more reflective. Hmm. Let's make this a darker gray with the add a bit of subsurface to a lighter gray. That's a good shade of metal. Let's just, yeah, control C, let's go with, in case we want to change it later, but if you don't have an active texture, it just kind of turns purple for some reason, uh, as the error color. This is different, so why don't I make this a bit lighter? Let's make the other color base a, lot, a lighter shade of uh, the metal. That gives it a reason to stand out differently. Next up is all that's left is the rubber for the wheels and cushion. Let's add RGB again. I was hitting all, uh, Control instead of Shift again. So shader to RGB. And we we'll want this to basically be just almost uh, completely black. Uh, let's add a bit of subsurface with a jet black. Remove specular. Brief darkness a bit. Uh, remove sheen tint. We'll want something similar for the cushion if we want. Do we want the cushion to be black? Hmm. Now let's make the cushion a really dark blue so it stands out as different from the wheels. Like an almost black blue, but still. Yeah, it's got more of a... Yeah, it's a very slight tint to hit. Move this. Free toughness, free specular. 
give it a bit of that. I see how it works. Yeah. I don't have a light, so it's dark right now. But this is what it's the plane looks like. Let's. Everything's selected, control, apply, all transforms. And what I'm gonna do is. Where is. I always have a different of this. Let's go with this real quick. And make this a, what is called a graph editor. Where is it? And that's just. Okay, that is messing with me so I'm getting rid of that I don't care if it, it would be easier with it with it what I'm gonna do for frame one it's like this okay I remember forgetting what is the if I yeah, there it is rotation and then we're gonna let's say this is gonna be 250 frames long let's Rotate this on the is it Y? 359 degree. Then, all right. Before we do that, let's set origin to geometry. Then rotate on the Y 359 degrees, and then insert rotation. Is that fast enough or too slow? That is way too slow. Uh, let's select this again. Bring this up a bit. Where, where did the keyframe go? Yeah. So uh, let's go this again. Insert rotation on frame one. Don't know why it's. So let's try frame 100. Rotate on Y359. So it's just short of a full rotation. Then insert rotation. And. There's a full rotation. Then let's try 50. That's better, but still a bit slow. Let's try 25. That's a good speed. Uh, where is the animation tab? Right, that's how you do it. We go here, select these, shift D, just bring them over. Oh, you'll do that, right? Select propeller. Just like that, all the transforms here for these two. I don't know why it does this half the time. I don't have. I don't, I don't have that much. It's, sometimes it cooperates me. Sometimes it doesn't. I believe there's just things it's doing. So what it's basically want to do on repeat. It's on 30 here, so I want 60. Shifty. Come on. Shifty. On to 90 for that. Okay, why to do that? Seriously, why did it rotate like that? Anima the one that I'm good at the 3D modeling part. The animation part's new to me. Still, sorry. Let's see. Okay. 
Control C, Control V. Yeah, you can't do that. I have no idea what I just did. Anyways, if you set the, uh, let's go just show off what it'll look like if we did it. Let's uh, make the end frame since it's uh, presently at 60 for repeat. Try this. If you do this on uh, repeat, it'll do this. Oh, I set the wrong frame, not 60. Okay, why is that 20? Whatever. Let's just show off what it looks like and I'll fix it later. Animation is not my forte. Let's try uh, fixing it one more. I can still have it slow, but it's still be like visible from here. I can speed up later, but. Let's try moving it to 20 now. And moving this down to 21. Let's see how it looks at that speed. That's a good speed. I'll have to copy it later and make sure it works properly in animation. But let's get to the next step before I worry about that. Yeah, I love making stuff like this, but as you can tell, it takes quite a while to make something if you don't properly, pl especially if you don't properly plan out the animations. Because in this case, I spent an hour and a half just to make the plane. The next step should be a little easier though, because I'm just making a simple background. Ship and oh well, let's uh see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it a plane there just for a second. Please, let's make this. Mm, it would be much larger than that. So that'll work. So first of all, let's rotate this with X, nope. What I'm going to be doing is taking advantage of this fact. And having it basically, uh, the plane will be in it and it will rotate. And that's the, that'll be how we get the parallax effect, by basically going hamster wheel on it. It's gotta, the plane's gotta, we'll have to shrink down the plane at that step. And probably make this a bit larger. He's basically doing this. Yeah, let's hide the plane for now. And get to... So what we can do is just build it on the inside, but it's easier if we um, just remove the faces on this edge. X and faces. So basically what will happen is the plane will be here, let's show the camera for a second. I have it set so the camera will move with, um, like, my mouth move here when I'm on camera view. I'll have to change its uh, render distance a bit. I can't remember where its render distance is located for camera set. I'm on, on camera, that's why. Let's see. Is not there. Where is run distance? I can't remember where that is. Scene, scene, the layer, scene. I'll fix that in a moment. 
there's one of these settings will tell you the will let you choose um, the render distance of the camera, which will have to decrease increase a bit. This will be basically the viewpoint. Will be about here. The plane constantly going. The power is going, and we'll have the we'll have this. Um, rotating towards the plane, not away. So it'll go that, and it'll have the basically the, have the, the repeat terrain for a parallax type effect, which is you know fun. I didn't plan the. I should have planned the terrain before I got to this step. My bad. Okay, let's ch jump out of um, trailer preview and hide the plane and the camera. Let's go with you. Let's see, what would be the best way to... I don't really use sculpting mode, but in this case it actually is probably the best way to make a symbol. This kind of grassy world terrain. So let's go to here. Turn on Dino Topo. Yeah. Uh, let's draw. Add in. If we go with inflate. I don't have my uh, drawing tab presently plugged in, so it won't work too well. Like. Try to do anything. Uh, Really complex to this. Would inflate be better, or would um, draw slash add be better? Actually, a combination of the two, probably, from the looks of it. Problem is, I have to do the. Uh, that's why I wasn't working right. Right on the inside of the device. Or not the device, the object. So, what you want to do is this. So, let's. Increase the radius a bit. Actually, let's texture it up a bit first. Is it clay strips I want? I don't use that. Again, on the inside of the outside, is it. Yeah, clay strips is not it. I can't remember how to do this. There's also blobbing. Again, remember to do. Flight was working the best for getting the texture I want. I really need to practice sculpting more outside of streaming it. It was actually looking better by having it take some of the... Oh, that's why it's not working right. Dino Tobo got reset. I was like, something's not working right. Dino Tobo got turned off again. Do that first, and go here for drawing. See how it looks with that, with the um, plane at the moment. And the fact that it's not loading in, pretty well. I go with that method. Get the general shape done before we go away about adding more details. One of the things you could probably do is rather than this method is you could make a flat like area that you want repeated and then use a um, the loop effect to make it so it what is the word for the it's on here, I'm just gonna check it. The uh, curve modifier to make sure it'll go into the shape inside the, the uh, 
freaking donut. This, this is just what can we do this gotta is that doing it the right way or is it doing it the wrong way it messes with the camera severely yeah it works just fine Let's decrease the radius and increase the power. I was doing the wrong wrong direction. That's power. This is radius. Looks like it's doing the opposite of what I want, but you know. Just add some random terrain here and there. Along the edges. Shaking it smooth, see how it looks the moment. Weird. But you find me, and I'm gonna add something which looks like um, water in it to run along there. Shape. Actually, jump into the shading editor for that. Add you uh, a shader to RGB. That is a choice shade. And then a mix shader. That was the wrong thing. Color ramp, that's what I wanted. Let's uh, cha first change it so the color it matches roughly the green we want. which is not the best, but let's add in the other object for the background to make it look a little bit better. Which is probably just going to be another, um... Let's add a cylinder for that. Which is 
it's going to be really tiny in comparison to that. Let's see, rotate my 90. And scale it up massively. Oh, we gotta apply the transforms first. And, and set its. I hate how every time you apply transforms, it sets its origin to the cursor rather than the object. Scale, shift X. So it just massively does it. Scale, shift X. Grab Z. Scale, shift X. Scale, X. Let's remove the side faces here. Save the shade smooth like that. I didn't put enough, uh, I did forgot to change the universe, so it's much more wrinkled than I wanted. Whatever. Did not want to add it. I was searching for it, not adding it. But I keep doing that. I seriously need to fix the under distance. Better to wait and just fix it by um, changing the size of this. It's already got some material, right? That's Control J. doesn't want me to move the camera. It's annoying. Let's scale this down a bit so it's the size of I want it to be. Slight angle so it Scale this on the x axis. There we go. And let's jump into shading for the simple water material. Small shader to RGB. Give it a very light shade of blue, but a little dark. Texture, see how much it wants to cooperate. Right, I forgot the step. Uh, shift to add a color ramp first. I haven't made water in a while. Especially something simple like this. Let's just connect this to get the, again, the shade I want.
Terror rings? No, I bet fans are better with this. Diagonal, based on Z. I don't know if this is going to work too well because of the, um, it being inside of a giant. I don't know what works for them. Yes. Let's drastically decrease the scale. Keep mind, it's doing it the wrong way, so. That actually should work better to make it look like it's flying faster. Huh, yeah, you know. You get a bit metallic to, if you want for that, but I need to go more specular. Increase the roughness. And the machine, you know. They'll make it look more reflective, which, you know, water does. Hold on, I don't know what this music is. Oh, it's from Sting Beats from a different album. That worried me for a second there, I was like, what is this? Stream Beats uh, album Demon, Stream Beats original, which means, you know, not copyright. Was worried there for a second, extremely worried. This is from Stream Beats original, I recommend checking it out. I haven't listened to something for though, this album. That weird music in there is like, oh, is the cover music just come on? Never had something before, but I like it. Everything's still working good, but stream wise, everything's still good. Nothing's crashed. Back to this. I haven't saved in a bit. That is bad. Let's make sure that the uh, rotation is still working good. Good. It's it's in relation to the function. Let's jump into animation and let's keep materials. I gotta add light, but I I will add that later. Did I just rotate on, uh, rotate on Y? And why is it copying it all? Um, Shift D. Oh. I think it's because I was really doing it too much, that's what I was doing right. Just make sure that worked right. It needs to be a bit faster, but I got I figured out what mistake I was making.
Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I thought it was really the 10. A little bit finicky, but you know. Yeah, but a bit further forward, it's still a bit slow for the propeller. Really smooth, but it works. Figure out why it's not cooperating with me later. And next up, let's go with this. So let's increase the frames to. Oh, let's find the spot here. End frame 250 like it initially started as. So that uh, so for this at frame one, its rotation is right here. At frame 250, it's rotated. I did the wrong one again, didn't I? Rotate X 359. Rotating the wrong way, isn't it? I want to rotate this way. It's rotating this way. Rotate x minus 359. Might have to. Um, I don't know if it's. Let's see. Oh, that. Yeah, I was pushing the wrong button again. It's not x. It's y. Rotation and at 250, that's 249. Rotate Y, rotate X, rotate X, 59. Let's try and see if it's doing the wrong way. Oh, I did that thing again where I forget to set it to a frame. Like this, I guess. So rotate X, being 59, and rotation. Okay, why is it specifically rotating multiple directions, not just one? Is it because uh, I haven't applied all transformations, isn't it? And then set its origin to geometry. That was what I was doing. Yeah. Three keyframes. Now we. Now its rotation should work right. That's what wasn't working right. And. Rotate, yeah, changing to be 9, and insert rotation, it is going the wrong way, yeah. Also, why is it doing that?
its origin to geometry, so that is not its center. Set origin to a 3D cursor. Now let's try that again. Delete keyframes. Set, uh, go to back to one. Set rotation. And then a 250. Rotate X. And let's see, you know. Rotation. Where is the plane? There we go, that's going the right way. You just have to set minus again. Um, that was about the center, so it's not too big of a deal, but it's a little funky. I'd say be probably best that we move this 1,350 to 250, uh, 125 and then shift D make the end frame 260 I guess I think it's about to delay. What I do? Legit don't know what's happening. Uh, so that's all that editing, right? I haven't done that in a while, so I forgot that those functions existed. I was trying to go with the simple method of uh, editing animations. I hope they go through and edit it so it doesn't have that um, delay in there later, but um, I'm gonna just try and get the rest of the set with the lights and stuff before I work anything working. Let's see how it looks right now, either way. I think uh, actually rather than doubling it for the animation, it's better to just uh, decrease the amount of time. But yeah, let's try this. Grab it up to 180. That should be even better speed. It looks a bit better, yeah. Jump back into layout and this view and that's a bit better. So I gotta work on the Uh, 
Okay, that's weird. It's not moving willingly. Uh, that's why. Let's have the camera visible. Let's select that. Let's try it again. I haven't gotten the rotation on the uh, power going yet, whoops. Also, did I forget to change the... No, it's right, it ended at 180 now, I've got to change the frames. Better. Now let's get uh, some lighting going for it. I'm going to make it so the plane moves around, which you can use this button right here, which is called record, so it'll make it so while I'm moving you can change the position. I'm going to wait till that step last because lots of stuff can go wrong easily. Oh, I have to rename this. Okay, so there's an extra armor in there. This button uh, there, since I'm adding lights now. Now uh, that's a unpleasant spider to see. Not a poisonous one, but still unpleasant one to see, and it is hiding somewhere now. Ugh. Uncomfortable. Remy, be a cat. Go kill the spider. She's a cat, so you know. Let's try. It's smooth, didn't make a difference. It really shouldn't on the inside, I guess. We got to sculpting to try to fix the issues with the this here. It's all let's uh massively decrease the strength on that. Holding the, I guess it'd be the kernel button, not the. That's a, oh wait, a dino turbo.
that I messed with that massively. I'll just leave it be. I have to remake it to fix it. If it's not really that of a problem, I just forgot to spawn these uh, these cylinder correctly. animation Something's wrong, I feel it circling like vultures around my brain. Couldn't see the danger in your eyes. Draw me in, got me spinning now like water to a drain. You were perfect till I realized you hadn't shown your face. Will you sing a pretty song? for the rotation of the color. That's not how you're supposed to do that. I have to make a mistake there. I basically just did was so what it what is how it does it. All right, that's my goal right there. Insert its uh, location right here, and then go to animation. Shift uh, D. Shifty, then over here. It should make it so that it's um, I 
What was that? Man, <laughs> lost the propeller. back to this position at the end, so... Should be... One more and make it so it ends on one frame 81. That should... Make it so that that issue doesn't occur. There we go! Now let's see how it looks right now. This song now. Oh, Rosie Snail by Stream Beats. I haven't even listened to this album before. Whatever. I'm about to. I'm about to finish with this. So let's. I forgot to change their uh, rendering se render settings. That would have been annoying. So if you leave it at PNG, it's going to. Um, Render it as a bunch of pictures, not a video. So, go to render. Render is an animation, not just render. And then it'll load it, which... Frame by frame, which is, you know, fun, I know, right? Not the most fun thing to see, but this is. Oh, I should have zoomed the camera out a bit more. I should have tested a render, render image. But it'll tell. Uh, let's see. Should normally tell me the how many frames per second it's loading at, but it's not telling me. Monsters, I'm uh, It'll show it. Show I'm in a different tab that's there not recording. The that put to see the name of the ship was the so it doesn't have the little. The winds blew harder, no, no. I know that's stream beats, but still, I don't know if that that's truly copyright free or not. So let's uh, switch to something I know. Let's go just finish off the night back on the album we start on. I do believe that means it's done, so let's check the rendering. Oh, it just showed an image, didn't it? Hold on a second. I have to make sure that I was uh, saving as, and I realized.
I did properly save, crash. Just say go there. It should be the file name, so I'm trying to find it so I can show it to you before I call them. Alright. Oh, let's read the bride, it's called. I have to do some, I might do some more editing to get this fixed up, but for the most part it's done, so let's... Let's uh, jump to this, let's see... Add... Uh, some... Hold on a second. Create some media source I need. And you... Not that, that's not what I needed. Hold on a second, I'm trying to make it so I can show it to you. Source is not the best method, but it'll work. Oh, there we go. I didn't mean to instantly start playing it, but it's a media source, so it'll just instantly go. Because I haven't added it into a video yet. Let's um, replay that. Take some editing to fix it up, but it's a very simple this flight animation there. I gotta make it so it doesn't slow down at the end. That's. Yeah, I need to practice my animating more. I've been practicing 3D modeling a lot, but not the animation. Get off, Remy. Get hot. Uh, either way, I think. I just picked the wrong file, or the wrong browser source. For now, I'm gonna, I'll probably add some more adjustments and uh, make some different animations so they're more complex than just this. But I hadn't actually tried out the uh, using that method for a parallax for This was just kind of a test idea. Looks like it works out actually really well if you, you know... It'd be better to make the terrain that goes inside of it outside of it and multiply it and uh, use, give it a loop type thing using the curve modifier rather than like this and an array. Rather than using this method. This method was a good test though, and it definitely gives it a mountain effect. Which what it's going for. By the way, um I think I'm gonna call it here in a moment. For the night. Been kind of out of it lately, so I probably better take a little bit short than burn out. Just finished up a was the wrong way. A busy week last week. Big out. So normally I would stream Hades tonight and then Hollow Knight on one, uh, Wednesday but because uh, a lot of people were watching GDQ for games I figured I'd mix up and go for an art stream because I haven't done those while I want to get back into it. I'll be finishing up Hades soon so like maybe next time I play it so maybe I'll switch Mondays to night streams I mean art streams from now on or maybe I'll add a different night and I'm still planning out my schedule. As I mentioned before, my uh, Monday streams in probably about two weeks, so we're going to switch from 7 to 9 to 8 to 10 for normal time. I normally go over, as you can tell, but I put those times in there to say, hey, I will be at, live, be at least live during the, these times. 
I have a schedule conflict that'll make it so I won't be able to stream starting at 7 anymore. So I'll have to push back Monday ones. But that'll only be for like three months. Actually, I don't know what my schedule will be after that. It's kind of mixed up. I'm working on my masters, so you know. Have fun there. Um, besides that, I will probably still play Hollow Knight on Wednesday because I am starting to make some great progress in that. And I did miss a week, two weeks ago on that, so even though it's uh, probably something that people are going to be. Probably not going to bring in that many new viewers. Still, I'd rather continue showing that off. Either way, thank you for tuning in and checking out me making a very simple flying plane animation. I've been Lord Javu. Have a good night.